Zapier now offers integration directly with your Be In Touch CRM. To set it up, start by going to zapier.com and clicking the login button. If you haven't set up an account yet, you can make one by clicking sign up. Be In Touch plus Zapier integration is in beta. So for now, you need to follow an invite link to see our app there. Be in Touch support should be able to provide any Be in Touch user with this link. After clicking Accept Invite and Build as App, you should be redirected back to Zapier.com. From here, click the Create Zap button in the top left corner. Now you will see two boxes, one for Trigger and one for Action. An action is basically something for Zapier to do, such as sending an email, and a trigger tells Zapier under what conditions to do it, like if a mortgage enters a new stage in the pipeline. Let's set up a simple Zap where when a new lead appears, we'll send an email notification to ourselves via Gmail. We will start with the trigger box at the top. Find the Be In Touch app by using the search bar below. Once you have selected it, Go down to the event section, select new loans, and click continue. Next you will have to sign into the Be In Touch app through Zapier. Make sure your browser allows Zapier to open a new pop-up window to sign in to Be In Touch. To sign in, you will need two keys. To find these keys, we need to go back to Be In Touch, go to the options tab, scroll down and click third party integrations. Under the Zapier tab, you will find both API and user keys that you can copy and paste into the pop-up tab from before. Once you have inserted both keys, click the button at the bottom to connect your Be In Touch account to Zapier. Now that we are connected, go ahead and click Continue. You can set up these filters with any conditions you choose, or without any filtering at all. For this example, you would set marketing sequence to application. You can also add a source and other criteria to narrow down results even further. After finishing the setup, Zapier will offer to test it. This will show any records in your Be In Touch CRM that match the criteria listed in the trigger section. If you are satisfied with the records found, go ahead and click continue. This leads us to the action portion. We've finished the when a new lead appears part, now let's finish it up with the send me an email part. In the action section, click Gmail. For the event, or the actual action that takes place, set it to send email and click continue. Under the account section, sign into the email you'd like to have the email sent from. Once signed in, click continue. In this example, we want to send an email to ourselves, so under 2, type in the same email you signed in with in the account section. You will be required to add a subject and body to the email, and you can use both hard-coded text and dynamic data from the trigger you set up earlier to make each email more personalized. Once you are satisfied with the email being sent, go ahead and click Continue. Once again, you will be prompted to test what you have set up, and I encourage that you do so. Here we can see that the action was executed, and an email was sent to myself. After you finish all these steps, and the test is successful, you can go ahead and publish your Zap. Now we can go to the Zaps folder and make sure that our automation is on. If you want to further test a Zap, you can go back to Be In Touch and create a new loan that fits the trigger we set up earlier. You can either wait for Zapier to react to the new loan, or you can manually run it by clicking on the three dots next to the Zaps and clicking Run. Here you can see the new loan I just created matched the criteria set in the trigger, and now I successfully received an email for it. Let's try another example. This time we'll make a zap that sets it so every time a new lead is created, a to-do is added and be in touch to remind you to reach out to them. To do this, we must set the trigger app to be in touch and set the event to new loans. Click continue until you reach the trigger section. Set the marketing sequence to lead and click continue. For the action portion of the zap, Set the app to be in touch. Set the event to create to do 
and click continue. Set the task to your liking and once you are satisfied, click continue. Check the test section to make sure everything looks good and then go ahead and click test action. If the test is successful, you should be able to see a new item on your to-do list and be in touch. After a successful test, go back to Zapier and click Publish at the bottom. You can further test by going to Be in Touch and creating a new lead. You can either wait for Zapier to check automatically or manually run it from the Zaps tab in Zapier. Either way, now when you check your to-do list, you should see the new item with the new lead's name. 